You're tuned in to Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano. Doreen brings energy, focus, and creativity with the most cutting-edge tools and systems needed to grow business, drive profits, and achieve dreams. Ready to rise? Here's your host, Doreen Milano. Hi, so today we're going to discuss the top of, of protecting your assets. Your assets are human capital, your workforce, inventories, times, the parts that you use, components that you need, maybe your vehicles, receivables are an asset, cash is always an asset, your fixed assets, which are your buildings and furniture and fixtures, leasehold improvements, automobiles, and other items. I've held many leadership and management pos positions in business for the last, I don't want to, I don't want to tell you how long. Anyway, first and foremost is asset protection. And that was my main job, is making sure assets were protected. In the industries I worked in, assets came in many forms, and the number one was always human capital. This asset is the most expensive to replace. A new employee will often cost you thousands of dollars. Many companies are now going through the task of replacing employees and many key employees that have moved on. The thing we all need to understand is that every person who works for us or who has worked for us in the past has the benefit of training and education to our standards. This makes them valuable. There is another component to their value that is their ability to perform to the training standards that we have set. I'm not just talking about the mechanics of the job or the career that they have. I'm speaking to their dedication, their sparkle, their passion for the industry and the job itself. This exercise is collaborative, where the employee and the supervisor or the owner brainstorm on the job, performance satisfaction, internal and external, personal growth, all support the goal towards achievement. Be specific when giving praise or constructive criticism. Our goal is to engage with the workforce and support their movement forward. Protecting inventories is a very daunting task. All inventories depreciate under specific circumstances. Obsolescences where parts are no longer valid or used or need to be updated or outdated. Components is another difficult inventory to protect. Innovation is faster and faster. One day it's on the top of the end and the next month it needs to be replaced. So let's take a little bit of time and talk about time itself. If you're a service-based industry, your inventory is all about time. The future of time, the present time, and it's always depreciating. There's only 60 seconds per minute and 60 minutes per hour. Do you start your day with the time you have available to sell that day and log all the time that was sold? Time is your inventory. Some businesses sell time in a matrix where certain tasks are worth so much money. And that's how they manage and sell their time. The question is, do you have a finite amount of time to sell on any given day? Are you protecting your asset of time? No matter what you sell, it has a shelf life from programs to offerings, to products. Has anybody seen Vita Vita Vegemin on the shelf in their local drugstore? No, but it was a hot product in the 40s with Lucy Ball. So let's talk about your sales processes. Are you generating receivables or a promise to pay on a future date? Receivables have a shelf life. It's all about time. Yes, they represent the sale of your precious inventory, However, if you have not collected in 25 days or in 45 days, the longer the stretch is out, the less and less the receivable becomes collectible. Receivables on your balance sheet represent lost cash until they're collected. And that's all a matter of time. Have you heard that all cash, have you heard cash is king? Well, it's very true. The more liquidity in your business has, the easier you have to meet the needs of your business. I want to share a story with you. A client hired me to help him handle his, get a handle on his business. He's a general contractor in California 
where they are highly regulated and fully licensed. When we started working together, he did not have a functional financial statement. He had employees and 1099 workers. He ran his business through his checkbook. He had high anxiety around his ability to pay his employees taxes and other essential ex expenses. He was, he was not minding or protecting his assets. In fact, he could not have seen them because they were not in his financials. There was nothing to look at. He was allowing the company to lead him instead of being the leader of the company. We have worked together for several years now. He has gone from a sole proprietor to an S Corp. All of his employees are fully documented and insured and becoming great company assets. He's on track to break over $3 million in revenue this year. What a great result going from 300K to 3 million in less than eight years when there was no financial statement, no infrastructure, no policies, and no procedures and no accountability to a business run on KPIs and asset protection. He is currently building out his offices on the property and building out a cabinet shop to add to his assets. My guest today is going to be Lisa Harvell with Secured Title of Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all about time and it's all about how we deal with time. And when we're talking about the ability for us to close an escrow and get a secure title, timing is essential. She works with homeowners to protect their assets. And it's really vital that we look at those assets just like a business would look at their assets. It is about time, it's about depreciation, it's about having access to the asset. It's all about understanding what the needs of the consumer are and how we are deal deal dealing with those needs, making it a real time situation in today's market. Now today's market is more difficult than it's ever been. There are multiple offers on homes, how we deal with it, making sure we can get a secure title, making sure everything closes on time. This is what we're gonna talk about with our guest today. And it's all about time. Time is the value asset that is depreciable and it goes away very quickly. The faster we're on track and on target with time, the more asset we have to play with. So at this point, I would like to break for a commercial and we're going to come back and we're going to talk to Lisa Harvell and have a great time. I'll be right back. A polished look says a lot about you. In under three seconds, that first impression can open and close doors. Japreve. Japreve has the brands you love to wear. Style & Company, Pistola, Aiden, Vince Camuto, and more. 165 labels with fit that flatters. Japreve.com. Japreve ships from Farmers Branch, Texas. Ask us about local DFW fashion shows that bring Japreve right to you. Upscale fashion doesn't have to be expensive, and you don't have to dig through racks of clothes that end up damaged and missing buttons from being tried on over and over and over again. Japreve.com is your answer to fine clothing in casual, career, and formal wear. Make a name for yourself. Do it in style. Japreve. Japreve.com. Name brand apparel without the department store prices. This is the transaction you've been looking forward to. Your client is getting a great deal. It's time to go to the title company and sign the closing documents. Deadlines must be met for funding to happen so the buyer can get the keys. Call me, Lisa Harbell, at 469-914-2686 for quick underwriting decisions, in-house attorneys, and up-to-date technology to ensure an efficient closing. We're DFW's Secured Title of Texas solution for 1031s, commercial properties, residential purchases, and equity loans, and more. A proper title search ensures taxes and mortgages have been paid, there are no judgments against the seller, and the restrictions are in line with planned use. 
Secured Title of Texas makes it easy for you to move forward with organized title experts who protect lenders and home buyers from liens and defects in title or actual ownership of the property. Call me, Lisa Harvell, with Secure Title of Texas at 469-914-2686. Get it done right, get it done on time, 469-914-2686. Business runs on technology, and human beings are creatures of habit. Unfortunately, not all our habits are good. Technology, when it works, is supposed to make our lives easier, creating routines that allow us to protect customer data, track our progress, forecast the future, communicate better, and move much faster. So you need technology solutions that work when you're not working or simply not paying attention. Smart technology solutions, making the complicated uncomplicated. Welcome. My guest today is Lisa Harvell with Secured Title of Texas, and Lisa has a really vital job in helping real estate move in Texas. Yes, I I like to think that I do. Um, I've been in the title business for over 40 years, and I close a lot of different types of transactions. Uh, Because of the length of time I've been in the business, there's not many problems that come across my desk that I'm not familiar with or know how to easily solve. And frankly, that's one of the reasons why I think I've stayed in business so long. People trust me. They know and trust me. They know I'm a problem solver. I've got that reputation in the business, and I get things done. So, uh, yes, not just me, but any escrow officer that's um, really sincere and knowledgeable is going to be key to getting the deal closed correctly and on time. So I've heard that in DFW, secured title is really vital in solving a lot of problems when it Mm -hmm. comes to titles that may have some clouds on them. Oh, sure, sure. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, I've heard that, you know, if there is a death in the family or other types of clouding that Mm -hmm. happens on titles. Mm -hmm. You guys have a way of cutting through the red tape and making things happen. Is that right? right? Yes. Um, And I'm going to take the liberty now of saying that probably all of our escrow officers have some level of skill in that area, but people that have been in the business longer typically have more experience in that area I have a little bit of an advantage, I think, uh, with some of my competitors because our office is, um, we share space and we're owned by a law firm. And that law firm is um, Lindstrom Law Firm. They specialize in family law with wills and trusts. They do probates. They prepare airship affidavits. That's one of the documents we might use to cure title. Um, we work very closely together on a lot of transactions. And so, um, you know, from the time we get the order, we have somebody in place that knows all the right questions to ask and the documents to start collecting. Uh, they can be uh, very uh, insistent on getting those things because sometimes people are reluctant to provide everything we need. They may give us a part of it and usually they Not just, understand that the other correct, part is necessary. Right, they may just open another door and and so, uh, or lead us down a wrong path if we don't get all the right information. So, um, yes, One we can One of the things that. that's, that's really interesting mm-hmm here is that you are in partnership with a law firm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are all title companies in Texas in partnership with law firms? No, no. Many offices are are what they're called uh, direct operations. What that really means to a consumer is that they are an employee of that company. I am not an employee of secured title. I'm an employee of Lindstrom Law Firm, and we represent secured title. And so that's the difference. We have a relationship with them, uh, and we were uh, very selective where we went. One of the uh, priorities that I had was the software that we were specifically looking for. Uh, The people that were coming on board with me were very familiar with it. We'd all used it for many years, and we wanted to ensure that that software was there uh, which is RamQuest, and um, that was a big, big factor for us. We also really liked the core values of the company and the leadership team, 
And that was a big part of the decision as well. Okay, can you repeat that? Because business owners need to understand mm -hmm. that you made decisions mm -hmm. based on core values mm -hmm. and as to who you were gonna work with. That's correct. Choosing mm -hmm. your vendors mm -hmm. very specifically is mm -hmm. a big deal. Yes, it is, it is. And we have other vendors as well. And that goes back to, it's not just price, it's service, it's service, it's service. <laughs> and, it is. Uh, you know, that's a big part of what we do as well. Our rates are set by the State Board of Insurance for a title insurance policy. So going from one company to another, you should be quoted the exact same price. What sets people apart, though, usually is their skill and their service level, their commitment to service. That is a huge, mm -hmm. huge piece, no matter what industry you're in, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, when we're when we're talking about this whole title thing, because you know, for me, coming from California, you know, you went to this title company or that title company to close your escrow, and it wasn't as pronounced as it is. Texas right. is a different animal. Right. Right. Uh, I'm going to use California as an example Good, because, because you've told me you were you were help there. Help me understand. Right, and I, I used to own property in California as well, so I bought and sold there. Uh, California's title insurance uh, process is very different than Texas. Uh, it's very similar to uh, New York, and they have both states have a more fragmented. Uh, process mm -hmm. and they use a lot of different vendors in the transaction uh, for different parts that in Texas the title company does it all we do everything from start to finish we are the escrow agent we are the closing agent the we are the title examination company we are the recording agency and we are the issuer of the title policy which is our actual product so to be clear in mm -hmm. California when you go to your escrow statement, mm -hmm. you've got charges for all those different things yes. and mm -hmm. dollar figures in California for all those different yes. things. Mm -hmm. And here, there's one charge. Well, not just one, but, but there's you know, but it's a couple. Yeah, of we have a collective charge that covers a lot of those items. Uh, they're not itemized because each transaction is different. We lose people's thoughts whenever they see 20 charges as opposed right. to one big one or one bigger one. Uh, and then uh, the title premium, of course, is right. for the policy itself. But all those ancillary uh, items, we just roll it into one figure. It's, it's an easier uh, acceptance to the consumer. Well, especially in California, where I don't have a choice as to where this comes from mm -hmm. or where that comes from. Mm -hmm. It is up to the realtors. It's up to the the title company that I'm mm -hmm. using, it's up to other people, but not me, and it's just a charge I have to eat, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, here, we do have a little leeway. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I can choose to use you and secured title over any other title company when I buy or sell a property. Is that not Usually correct? Usually so. Let me tell you a, l a little more detail about that if you have the time, do Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Okay. If you're buying a property and you want to use secured title, you want to use me, um, or if you are looking to buy and use someone else, um, you need to put that in the initial contract offer that goes in uh, to be delivered to the seller for negotiation purposes. Um, sometimes the seller will change it or want it to go somewhere else. Many times there's other areas that they would rather focus their negotiations on, such mm -hmm. as price or closing date or seller contributions, who's going to pay for the title policy or HOA fees. There's a myriad of other things that they will typically focus on. So if you are a buyer and you want me to close your deal or somebody to close it specifically in a company, be sure and put that in your initial offer. On the flip side, if the seller wants to have it closed at a particular location, they need to have their agent put that into MLS so that the buyer's agent will know that they are trying to close this at wow. XYZ Title Company. Okay. Many times, uh, if a property is being listed and the listing agent or even the property owner, somebody I might know, uh, knows there's a potential for problems, they'll ask me to go ahead and open title on the property so that we can do an examination, a thorough examination. And then we can determine 
what, if any type of problem solving needs to occur before that property can be sold. And I'm gonna go a step further, before we can deliver a clear title to that buyer. It's in the Texas real estate contract that the seller will deliver clear title. Wow. So we are going to follow that to the letter. We are going to make sure everything is cleared up and everything is filed accordingly with the county clerk where that property is so that there will never be a future problem either for the seller or the new buyer. Awesome mm -hmm. point to land on. Okay. We're gonna take a moment, we're gonna to go to Commercial Bake, and then we're gonna come back and find out more from Lisa Harvell at Secured Title. We'll be right back. A polished look says a lot about you. In under three seconds, that first impression can open and close doors. Jepreve. Jepreve has the brands you love to wear. Style & Company, Pistola, Aiden, Vince Camuto, and more. 165 labels with fit that flatters. Jepreve.com. Jepreve ships from Farmers Branch, Texas. Ask us about local DFW fashion shows that bring Jepreve right to you. Upscale fashion doesn't have to be expensive, and you don't have to dig through racks of clothes that end up damaged and missing buttons from being tried on over and over and over again. Jabrieve.com is your answer to fine clothing in casual, career, and formal wear. Make a name for yourself. Do it in style. Jabrieve. Jabrieve.com. Name brand apparel without the department store prices. Business runs on technology, and human beings are creatures of habit. Unfortunately, not all our habits are good. Technology, when it works, is supposed to make our lives easier, creating routines that allow us to protect customer data, track our progress, forecast the future, communicate better, and move much faster. So you need technology solutions that work when you're not working or simply not paying attention. Smart technology solutions, making the complicated uncomplicated. My American dream is to help you stay healthy and energized so you can live your American dream. Our American dream is equipping future generations of American dreamers. My American dream is to protect my community so they can live their American dream. My American dream is to bring you some spice and flavor to your life. Our American dream is ensuring what's most valuable to you. Our American dream is creating opportunities for healthcare providers so they can have their American dreams. My American dream is serving our business community and advocating for all of your American dreams. Interested in starting a podcast or TV show? Worried about what you'll say and how to keep it engaging? Think you'd like to be a guest on podcasts, radio, or TV shows? Hi, I'm Susan Hamilton, owner and founder of OBBM Network, and I would like to invite you to an OBBM media training to get the tools you need for a relaxed and polished performance you'll be proud to share. Our specialized training techniques include role play, voice training, and everything you need to deliver a confident, clear, and engaging interaction. Go to offbeatbusiness.com. Go to the calendar and register for a training that's convenient for you. Dates available now, 214-714-0495. Welcome back, and we are talking with Lisa Harvell of Secured T Title of Texas, and we're having this discussion about how to secure a title in the state of Texas and why timing is so important. Mm -hmm. So I think you have a story for us. I do, and there's a couple things I want to mention. Um, first, sometimes one of the things that we do do not involve an actual transaction between parties. Uh, it may, may be that an owner of a property would like their title checked and they want to make sure there's no liens filed against the property, may, maybe an unexpected type thing, or they suspect somebody may have filed something against their property. So that's a service we offer as well. So I just wanted to bring that up. Um, yes, I have lots of stories, war stories. I have uh, stories about a variety of different clients. 
Uh, one thing I will tell you that I learned as a very young escrow officer was to always check IDs as soon as the parties arrive. When I first started closing, I would collect the IDs at the end of the transaction because I thought it might offend them. How silly. Um, and the reason <laughs> I'm going to say that is I had two different instances in which people uh, attempted to well, they were. They were impersonating somebody else to sign documents. One was for a purchase, and the uh, realtor was involved in this. They uh, were participating oh because they were all friends with the actual buyers who were overseas. So they just asked their friends to come in and sign, and the realtor thought that would be okay. They didn't have a power of attorney. They didn't tell me anything. So that was my first lesson. Don't ask for your ID, the IDs at the end. You always ask as soon as you meet with that party. And then another time, without much detail, we had a gentleman there with a woman that was impersonating his wife, and he was attempting to sell a property. Ooh. Yes, yes. So just a little lesson learned. A little heads up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But let me give you some more uh, uh, other information that might be more specific and more timely now. This, um, I do residential and commercial work. And a lot of times my commercial clients have deals that are going to close really, really quickly. Uh, one of my clients does develop, he does you know, acquisition of land, he does development, he does, uh, they have a construction company, uh -huh. a survey company with engineers. Um, they're the whole, whole package. And so sometimes they have needs to get deals done quickly. Uh, two weeks ago, I had a, a call from a lender who wanted to close a deal for our mutual client, in two days, two business days. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and usually, you know, title companies like a week plus to do their title examination. Well, you have to do your due diligence exactly. and all that Exactly, we've so. got to pull tax information and a lot of detail. Well, I'd closed this property previously when he bought it and when he took his first loan out on the property. So I'd already closed two transactions on the property, which meant I had two files to go back to. And our title examiners had two files to go back to. So when we set the order up in our system, um, those numbers, those previous file numbers were provided, and they had title work to me within about three hours. Oh. It was incredible. It was incredible. I looked like a hero to uh, both the lender and the uh, my client, the, who was the borrower in this situation because we were able to perform so quickly. And uh, he knows and trusts me. Um, I send stuff over to him. I email things for him to see. And then he just comes in and signs like that. It's um, amazing. So it's a great relationship. It is built on trust, but it's also built on skill, accuracy, timing, and care, because I do care about what they're doing. I care that I'm involved in that project with them. I'm proud of it. So um, there's a lot of trust between us that my timing is good. I can work really quickly. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. You just have to know. Are there times <laughs> when timing actually lost the deal or made the deal happen? Not for us, but there's one part of residential deals where a seller could easily lose a deal if times aren't, the time schedules and deadlines aren't met. And that is um, for HOA resale certificates. Most of the neighborhoods in Collin County have HOAs, many in Dallas do, uh, and they're more and more common. The contracts have uh, provisions in them to let people know if they're buying a property that is or is not in an HOA. Right. And if there is, then the seller has an obligation with a specific time period in which they are to provide the HOA. It's called a resale certificate and all the supporting documents that have their financials and other information in it. So we have to have that information as a title company so that we can order the HOA packages and that all-important resale certificate very quickly. And sometimes sellers aren't really prepared 
to provide that as quickly as they need it, as we need it. They may um, not even remember the name of the management company because they're typically different than the actual HOA. And since they don't deal with them on a regular basis, they don't always remember. But we have to have that information and we usually have to collect payment from them so that we can obtain that information because it comes at a cost. It's rather hefty for uh, paperwork that's emailed to you. Uh, if you need it in a, a quicker time period than what the laws allow for the HOAs to deliver it, then there is also an expedite or a rush fee that has to be paid. Right. We have to collect that from them. So that's a place where if the seller does not provide that information, and if we don't get it ordered on time and delivered on time, then they could lose the contract. But it all starts back with the actual seller uh, providing the information to us and making that payment so right. that we can get it processed. So one of the questions is, mm -hmm. do people really know where their HOA is? I mean, I happen to know where mine is. It's down the street. You're talking about the, where, uh, the management yeah. office? Yeah. or? Most people don't because most of them don't office on, on property. They usually office off site and many of them, um, you know, they manage maybe several hundred properties. I'm talking about whole neighborhoods or right. whole uh, condominium subdivisions. So, But it's really important mm -hmm. as a property owner mm -hmm. to understand sure. where that mm -hmm. HOA is right. housed, mm -hmm. who the management company is, sure. so on and so forth. Attend your, man your HOA uh, meetings. meetings too. Yes. Get involved and... Know your neighborhood. Know who's running your neighborhood. Get on the board if you have, you know, a, a, a an interest, interest yes, yeah. in doing so. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Another issue on timing is on the commercial contracts. When I get an offer, or not an offer, an actual um, executed contract in for a commercial deal on a purchase, Frequently, those are not quick deals. They're usually going to take several months for the inspections to be done, the due diligence to be done, surveys to be prepared. Uh, if there's not an accurate survey available to us, um, a commercial, lot of commercial, commercial transactions last months. Months. Yes. Yeah. We go from three to six months, right? Easily. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I put together what's called a critical dates letter, and I go through that contract and I start with the very first page and I go through it with a highlighter and a very uh, fine-tuned eye to look for all of the clauses that have a date associated with it. And so I create the critical dates letter with the task and the due date on each line item through that contract. And then I provide that to all, all the parties in the transaction. So the listing broker, the selling broker, buyer and seller, they all get that same uh, critical dates letter. So they know they've got a, a timeline and they can calendar it and follow it and make sure they're, the seller's got to make sure they deliver it on time right. and the buyer has an out if they don't. If they don't. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is yeah. really critical. Yes. Mm -hmm. People who want to work with you, how do they find you, Lisa? Oh, well, uh, my favorite way to be found is through email. Um, at L Harvell at Secured Title of Tex, oh, excuse me, at Secured Title TX. L Harvell at Secured Title TX. They can call the office, 469-914-2686. That's our office line. You can reach me either way. But I'm, if I'm not in a closing, I'm usually at my computer and I'm going to grab, you know, grab those emails right away and get back to you as and quickly you as I can. And you respond very quickly. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I also have a home office set up. So uh, frequently I'm uh, doing some work before I go into the office and f quite often in the evenings as well uh, because I'm set up to do that. Yeah. Let me tell you, when I email her, she emails me back yeah. really quick. <laughs> That's right. I do. <laughs> I do. So... I want to thank you all for watching. It's been a wonderful conversation, learning more about secured title of Texas and how important that title piece is in our transaction for property. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you soon. The fact is, business has changed. Engagement has changed. And for us to recover our businesses and our communities, we have to engage differently. If you want to have a serious conversation about engagement, community, and your business, call me, Doreen Milano, Visions to Excellence. I'm an executive coach. You can reach me at 650-483-5798 or contact me online at v2e.biz. That's capital V, number two, e.biz.
Let's have a conversation. This has been Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano. Doreen Milano solves problems for small and mid-market family-owned businesses and service-based industries. To work with Doreen, go to v2e.biz. For guest and sponsorship information, call 650-483-5798. Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano is produced by Offbeat Business Media for the OBBM Network. For OBBM Network programming information, call 214-714-0495. Unauthorized use of any part of Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano without prior permission through the OBBM network is strictly prohibited.